As we transition to Google Apps for Education, users are wondering what will happen to email they have archived. GroupWise will still be alive in terms of users being able to get to their archived mail. It will not be used to send and receive email. If you choose to unarchive items now and move into a live folder within your GroupWise mailbox, those items will transition over. So the following directions will show you how to unarchive an item. The first step within your GroupWise window is to check your archive settings and make sure that you have not set that you do have it set up for manual, not automatic archiving. To do so, select Tools, Options, and you will see the Options dialog box. Double click on Environment, and you get the next dialog box. The fourth tab over reads Cleanup. By clicking on Cleanup, users will see that Mail and Phone have settings here. Make sure this is set to manually delete and archive. You can also manually delete and archive appointments and tasks as well. I recommend that both of these be selected as manual. Once that's done, click on Apply and OK and close the rest of your windows. Now that you have that setting done correctly, we want to open up our archive. We can do so by clicking on the online button and selecting Archive, or selecting File, Open Archive. I am now in the archive of my, full, of my email box. I can simply select an item and right-click it and select Archive, which acts as a toggle and will unarchive that item. Alternatively, I can select Actions, Move to Archive, and I will also move the item to my main mailbox. I can toggle back. I will see that these two items I just took out of my archive are in my main GroupWise email box now. Sorting by date, they're at the top because they are the oldest. If I want, I can now drag these to any folder, and that folder will migrate over to Google Apps for Education. If you have any questions about how to archive or unarchive items, please contact your site tech coordinator or site technician for assistance or anybody in the technology department. Thank you.